from the Richmond Sockeyes Trying making his home debut. With a hit like that. I'm sure the new fans will love that one here at Centennials. It is Halloween night. A couple of costumes in and around <laughs> yeah, the stands. Couple in attendance. Nothing from Coach Rogers. No, nothing. As Hugh is unable to pick that one up There's for Wyrock as Kim right brings it in and his first shot of the game for Port Moody is a goal as it goes high on the Soul scary inside. start for sure yes. for White Rock. Scary start for White Rock, absolutely. Uh, this is gonna, this could be a long uh, a long broadcast here <laughs> for, for bad puns as Svensson, he brings it across the blue line and his shot goes high. This White Rock team having a good start despite being down one nothing and despite playing last night second of back-to-backs here. Tong gets hit hard into the boards there. So perhaps their, their history so far in the season maybe not doing quite enough justice. As Dowell with another big hit, his second or third already of the game Spass is the spot. headed to the bench. Good shift for Dowell there. Long stretch pass finds Narwhal. Norwell leading the Panthers in assists and points with 12 points. Enough for a top 10 so far in the league in assists with ni at ninth. As Smith brings down the right side and oh. Fordham's speak of the devil jumps up in the slot unable to get a shot away. But Smith's shot able to be blocked there by a sliding Panther. Fordham's plays that one in front. Oh. Smith fans on it. Okay, we got to Let's like pick up our goaltender here. Let's help out. Sometimes that will happen where the first shot of the game goes in and we've talked about like the slow starts just in general like it's been 0-0 with a slow start there's no excuse for it being a back-to-back -back. you gotta come out and play hard every game Spack earning his Bryce Margotson for the Whalers recently announced his affiliation with the Cranbrook Bucks of the BCHL he is able to intercept a pass there in the Port Moody zone as he gets tied up Couple of whalers behind the net now. Throws it oh. in the front. Burry oh. shot easily steered aside there in the slot. Isn't to shoot. And his pocket gets picked. But he's going to get it back behind the goal. Burry's in the slot looking for the pass, but he finds a teammate at the point. Oh. He's staying in the offensive zone, keep, keeping the puck in. Got to take advantage now. It's a tired unit for Port Moody out there. One note that Jason Rogers always love to emphasize, you've seen it in all four seasons as for the Whalers, is that he loves a star four to four. Andrew Kim, the lone goal, the Port Moody rookie. That was a great set play off that face off there, but a nice love save by Roman. Price for the Whalers, his shot, unable to make it through. He got broken up there by Chen. As DeWall fires that one back for his captain behind Spack. Port Moody. Applying the pressure here for White Rock. He's huge in the slot. That one off the post. One in. That back on the Math Matheson goal. You saw that didn't really celebrate. The teammates didn't really go and do their celebration. He just went to the bench. Which also, lots of valuable ground for White Rock to make up here yeah. in the next week and a half. Absolutely, for sure. Tough schedule, but you got to find a make a way to at least get a few points in those games. The Whalers had another chance. He's going to get a second chance here with already 55 seconds gone in the too many men penalty. Fordham's going coast to coast. Slows down, plays that one in front, oh. and an excellent lofted on the power play two unit. Be re replaced there by Owen Thibodeau. Whereas Margotson on the blue line here. Back into the corner. Svensson shot. Fishwick unable to get a try to. Be the option for the stretch pass there. Unable to be found by a teammate, but it's still going to be Burry in the corner. Back to Hugh at the point. Over to Margotson. His shot off the blocker there. And that one. APs comes out of the box. Margotson. Unable to control that one there as it's sent back to Morrison. And he uses his big frame and he's going to get tripped up. Fordham's. Spins away from his man. Oh, yeah, shot. Back over to Dorohoy. 40 seconds remaining in their man advantage. Yet to have a shot, but Fordham's in close. What a chance that was. Player as creative, yes. I guess you could call Great it, as Chris Fordham's. That's definitely a player you want in open spaces. Where he's, as it's Hugh at the point. Margotson's shot. 
down low. Svensson oh. off the post. Targets and we saw it there. Svensson, great chance just off the post. Just couldn't bury it home. And that's what Svensson does. He's a, he's a big body as he's, he can take a shot. But Chen coming out of the box and just coming out behind him if he wants. Goes back to Hugh at the line. His pass through. Couldn't get past Norwell. Great move there by Henderson. And his spinning effort. Unable to sneak it through. Don't stretch too far from your computer screens. As we've got intermission entertainment and analysis. Always entertaining with Jordy and Bailey. As Price keeps it in a deflective effort there. Back to the blue line there. But Jocelyn Hughes going to intercept that one. Jumped forward. Tries to find his teammate there. And it's Brandon Walton. As it's about taking the wind out of your opposition sails. Absolutely. Because despite what we're seeing stats wise, 11 to 5 shots on goal for the Whalers. It's 1 1, and Port yeah. Moody's defended very well. Yeah, they are. Just right, like right there. Fordham's. He's going to bring it forward with space. We've seen the speed and the creativity. Let's see what he comes up with here on the right side. His pass in front. Dowell unable to. And Svensson digging along for it. Kim's in there as well for the Panthers, but Hughes, who we haven't seen a whole lot of from tonight, got the nod to start though from Coach Rogers as a couple of Whalers go down against the boards. Svensson tries for the big hit. Port Moody thought about the big pass. They've got it over the left side here. It's Kim. His effort pops the bottle with six seconds remaining. And killing the game. Largely because Coach Jason Rogers could still come up into the media booth and have some choice words. Absolutely. <laughs> Until then, the Panthers with the puck in the zone and a shot in close. Kim, the Panthers. Referee asking for some separation, but it's going to be one there. By Dorohoy, who's played a, a big role in this one so far for the Whalers. Seen a lot of ice time. That line here is Fordham's is with the two new guys. Leduc's effort there thrown forward and... Spat cleared that one away. And yeah, Fordham's, you know, a veteran player. Definitely a player who's... Still ninth in the league at 69.8%. This matchup definitely favoring the Whalers with the man advantage. But it's you with the puck. His shot stared aside by Spack. And it took a cell wall, but he was unable to pull the trigger. It's Tong out the point. Panthers with a good shift so far to start the power play. Tong gets it back at the point. Passes it wide. Norwal's effort steered aside by Sparrow. Banks it around to Tong. He's got you next to him. Thought about using him. Now he does. Chen weaves it his way forward. Great pass in front. Wow. And a great effort there. Haven't seen much of the above apart from just a good defensive shift there from the Whalers. Uh, absolutely. Part of it can be killing a penalty. And they did that there. So hopefully they can take advantage. And. Uh, tie this game up and we got another penalty coming here well oh, sorry first of all the chance good defensive play and then the move to stay on side there smart play the player tried to force him offside he's put his foot back just in time to stay on side effort there from the point steered aside by Roman Matheson tried to of that shot but Whaler is still keeping the puck despite a big hit there as Todd goes down and Matheson just bullying players down in the corner, delivering another one off Todd again. LaRue's effort in front. Dow's oh, effort from the side. Dow takes down a player. Plays Gerson's back on the bench for the Whalers. Margotson tries to hip check a Panther away, but still with the puck. Tong at the blue line. Shot. Steered aside. Narwhal back to the point. It's Tong. He's got a couple of options. Kim on the hat trick. His shot. Blocked by a couple of Whalers there, but picked away by No. Have to get that out right there. Narwhal to Kim. Kim's shot is in and a hat trick for the rookie. Yuri uses his size and speed to keep the puck here. As Svensson gets in there as well to try poke it free. And Burry's going to come out with it. Goes back to the point at Margotson. His shot high. Morrison, his rolling puck effort. Buff the blocker there. Side did well to stay on, but Fordham's tries to poke it free, but he's not going to be able to. It's going to be you. Back to Longdon. Fordham's comes out with it. A great effort there. That shot from LaRue just goes wide. Hugh 
plays in front, deflection, and it's batted home. Just goes past the glove. As Fishwick with a nice move there, tries to get past Kim. And Svensson's effort, blocked by the skate of a Panther, but he's still got it, his backhand effort goes wide. Fishwick goes down and... You have the momentum here, take advantage, score on this power play. You have the second best power play in the league, show it right here. Well, a good effort there, bouncing puck. Svensson had a grace. Now to Dorohoy. Dorohoy uses his skate, kicks it to Matheson. Back to Price. Price to Matheson. Thought up the shot. Passes it to Dorohoy. Svensson's in front. Matheson drops that back to Price. His effort off the deflection. And a deflection off one of the Whalers, but they're going to take it. And it was Dorohoy with the final touch. And now he's on a hat trick watching his home yes. debut for the Whalers. Absolutely. I'd love to see that two hat tricks in one game. That doesn't happen very often. Use Roy. That's using your head right there. Okay, Jody. It's been a, <laughs> it's been a bit too long because we've heard a pun, so I'll give you that. Good effort there by Johns, whose backhanded chance was batted aside using the blocker there of Mac Roman. Price delivers the hit. Able to find Burry. Gets caught up in the States there. As Burry goes down a slash on the way by, but the Whalers have a four on two if they can hurry. Svensson behind the goal. He's going to slow it back down. Still Svensson circling over to Fordham's. Fordham's sharp angle shot. Dorohoy is on zone now. Whalers are going to get set up in the Panthers zone on this man advantage. A nice move from Matheson. He's got a backhand effort in front. Oh. And Svensson just got over to his captain. Price moves his way to the faceoff circle. Tries to get past Ferreira, but he's been checked. Passes it back over to Fordham's. Back to Price. His shot. Off the pad there, but Thrift is playing without a stick here as the Whalers have 10 seconds remaining in their man advantage to Price. Price over to Hughes. Fordham's at the point. His effort, that's off the post. Out here by Fordham's as it's Matheson shakes off a body. He's going to take it to the corner. He's been slowed down by Thrift as he's going to win the puck there. Whalers keep it in the zone. Big hit there. Fordham's spinning away and... Mission City and Grandview play at 7.15 tonight. Both these teams did play last night. Like we said, White Rocks 3-0 loss and Port Moody lost 10-6 to Chilliwack. Fordham's his effort there is steered just wide. And you mentioned Grandview there. That's going to be the Whalers' next home opponent. That's going to be next Saturday. But now Morrison, his sharp angle effort. As we've been <laughs> starting off the third period here, Seals scores 3-3, three to three, so quick recap of what you missed, a great save just a minute or so ago by Spack, off of a double minor one that took the hit from that knee and call, he's back on the ice, good seeing this, a couple of times he's been shook up today, Ferreira moves it across, that shot there is saved 
off Chin's effort. He got two goals so far in his home <laughs> debut. He's looking to add a hat trick. Puck hit the linesman once again there. That's happened a lot tonight. Margetson at the point, works his way in. His oh. effort just goes wide. Four points ahead of next Saturday's opponent, Grandview, and two points back of two days of Tuesday's opponent, Delta. So a big two points up for grabs here for the Whalers. There's a long effort there from Hugh, drives it forward. Oh, and past a defenseman as Yu goes back to collect it. A couple of whacks at it by Sam Tao. And Yu's going to keep it. And a good, efficient poke check there by Pass for Bury. Broken up by Chen, but Price is going to get a second chance at it here. Knocked forward by Fishwick. And intercepted, Cole Svensson in close. His close effort denied. The second effort denied. Bury's stabbing away wow. at it. Fishwick's down. Punches are being thrown. Fishwick's really going at it with a number of Panther. The blue line, so Wales being forced to retreat as they dump that one in. And Narwhal dumps it forward. Hugh read that like a book, that read right there. Dorahoy with a great poke check, and he's tripped up. And the Whalers, Matheson, back to Price. Price spins away, plays that one down low. He finds Dorahoy. His effort off the glove and unable to be held there by Mac Roman, but Price able to keep it in the zone. Plays that one wide. Fordham stalled off the shot. Now Price back into the corner. Matheson, his effort off a stick. Puck fired in there, rings around the boards, and it's going to be kept in its dowel. Back to Price. Still a minute remaining on the Whalers' man advantage. Oh. That one, Matheson shot. And a number of sticks and bodies in behind the Whalers' goal, but it will be brought forward now. Kai Hughes loses the handle on that one. Some nice moves by Tong and wow. his effort. I'm not even sure if you want to shoot her against Delta, who's going to be their opponents on Tuesday at the Ladner Leisure Center, so be sure to check that one out. Tong with some nice moves there to find a teammate. Wow. And a Butch LaRue for the Whalers. He will lay that one over to a teammate. And he's able to find Fordham's. He's got a couple of Panthers on his tail. And Dorahoy does well to keep that one away. Laid forward there. Tyler Price dumps that one back. But it made some friendly fire there. As Margotson wasn't too sure about that one. But Whalers is able to come away with it. And that's just going to be dumped in and... Uh, Picked that one out of the wall. Plays that one forward to Connor Hughes, who, considering he's been the top scorer for the, the Panthers, has been held relatively quiet tonight. As that one's get caught up almost in the equipment of Bury. But Matheson, down the right side, tries to get past you. He's going to take it all the way around the goal. Throws it around. Bury! Bury's effort pops the bottle. And with 3.17 remaining, the Whalers complete the comeback. In these close moments, you need your best players to step up. We've seen Absolutely. what Matheson's done all game. And Bury, he's leading the team in goals. And that's got to be one of the biggest on the season so far. Definitely, you know, an opportune time to get another one here to add to your tally. But the job's not done yet. There's still three minutes to go. Dorahoy brings it down. He's looking for his hat trick. He just shovels that one. He fires that one forward. Price now. Shoveled forward and Matheson streaking down the right side. His effort right into the chest there. Finally have the first lead of the night. That's that that I've leaned on so heavily so far this season. Maybe not coming true, but I may have just ruined it there as Hughes being one of the better players for the Panthers tonight. Absolutely. Ferreira at the point. His effort doesn't make it through. That's off the skate of Hugh. And brought forward Sam Tao just barreling towards goal and He'll flick that one. Connor Hughes still battling with the puck now. Tries to chip it clear. You with a soccer chance just to kick it in. And there's a Panther down, but it's going to be Hugh. Uh, you with the puck. That one bobbled by Spack. Um. Narwhal with a massive face off here for the Panthers. He's lining up against Matheson. Good to see that he's okay from the hit earlier. Matheson gets tied up. And the close range behind the goal. 35 seconds remaining. Kim keeps it in for the Panthers. Chen plays that one over. Glove down. And Tong keeps it in, but now.